Welcome back to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kane and Becker, and today we do another deep dive into HBO Max. So for those of you not familiar with this channel, once a week I go searching through the popular streaming platforms and come up with 10 horror movies to recommend to you guys. This week, I went searching through HBO Max and came up with 10 horror movies that I think you will enjoy. And with that, let's get to the list! You're safe now. So The Night House is a savagely dark horror movie from 2021. It tells the story of a woman, played by Rebecca Hall, who is still reeling from the death of her husband. She is left alone in a lakeside home that he had built for her. My husband took the boat out on the lake. He took a, a handgun that I didn't even know that we owned and... So she tries her best to keep it together, but she starts having these disturbing visions of a presence in her home calling to her. So she starts to dig into her husband's belongings looking for answers, where she uncovers some terrifying truths. This movie is so fantastic. I even picked it as my movie of the year last year. Rebecca Hall is just phenomenal in this. She's always impressive, but she really kills it in this role. This is directed by David Bruckner, who also directed the film The Ritual, which you could check out over on Netflix. That's another really great movie. This movie is very dark and disturbing. I'm rarely creeped out, but this movie actually got to me and stuck with me long after seeing it. You were right. There is nothing. Nothing is after you. You're safe now. I think this movie is just an absolute must watch. She needs me. So Antlers is a 2021 supernatural creature feature horror movie. The story follows a teacher who suspects that one of her students is having personal issues at home, not knowing that the student is harboring a dangerous entity in his house. These drawings belong to a student of mine. It stars Carrie Russell, Jesse Plemons, and Jeremy T. Thomas, who all do a fantastic job in this movie. This is a very gritty movie that deals with some really uncomfortable, dark issues. It has gorgeous cinematography and is just well directed in general. The creature design and general special effects are outstanding as well. This is a beautifully powerful movie, but definitely not a fun movie and one that is really not going to be for everyone. But I do think it's a fantastically made movie and one that I thoroughly recommend. So Troll Hunter is a 2010 Norwegian fantasy horror movie that's done in a found footage mockumentary style. It's about a group of students who are investigating a series of mysterious bear killings. But learn that there are much more dangerous things going on. So they start to follow a mysterious hunter, learning that he is actually a troll hunter. This movie is so unique and very surprising because the idea of trolls doesn't sound scary in the slightest, but this makes it actually really frightening and intense. It's really a great adventure and one that I highly recommend. Who are you? So Malignant is a uniquely bizarre, wild horror movie from 2021 directed by James Wan. It's about a woman who is paralyzed by fear from her shocking visions, but her torment worsens when she realizes that her waking dreams are actually terrifying realities. Just 
leaving her questioning everything that she knows. This movie is so out there and divisive, it completely split the horror community down the middle last year. It's just not meant to be taken serious at all. You have to go in and kind of embrace the campy quality of it. So I stand by it when I say that this is a must watch, but if you have yet to check it out, give it a look, see what you think. Watch the spider. Don't want to stick you. Here. It's gonna get in here. It's gonna kill it. So Splinter is a thrilling bio-horror indie movie from 2008. It's about a group of people who are trapped in an isolated gas station by a terrifying parasite who transforms still living victims into deadly hosts. A young couple and an escaped convict must find a way to work together to survive the grotesque terror. Ah! So this movie is very low budget, but it punches way above its weight with some really great gore and awesome body horror. It has loads of scenes that'll just stick with you and get under your skin. This movie is absolutely entertaining and one to definitely add to your list. So The Relic is a spine-tingling cult classic creature feature from 1997. It's about a deadly creature that has gotten loose in a museum in Chicago. And after several grisly murders, a policeman and a biologist team up to find the alarming force stalking the museum halls. 33% homo sapien. Party. <laughs> What are you talking about? Gradual extinction of the human race. So this is a good old fashioned creature feature with a big slimy monster eating people. This isn't anything to take serious at all. It's a perfect popcorn horror movie for a Saturday night. So get your snacks and enjoy. So The Empty Man is a 2020 supernatural horror thriller. So after the disappearance of a young girl, a former detective investigates what happened, where he uncovers an urban legend about an almost holy-like figure known as The Empty Man. On the first night, you hear him. And on the second night, you see him. And on the third night? Well, on the third night, he finds you which leads him to a mysterious cult of followers and down a wild, deadly path. This movie is haunting and eerie and absolutely captivating. It's an intelligent slow burn with lots of dread that slowly gives you a warped sense of reality. And once you get in the right mindset for this movie, it will get in your head and stick with you. This is a real gem and one that I think is definitely worth your time. Something's wrong. The only way you can break the curse is to kill the person who started it all. So Cursed is an exciting 2004 werewolf horror movie directed by Wes Craven. It tells the story of three young adults whose lives are changed forever when they are attacked by a werewolf in Los Angeles. Help me. Are you okay? Do you hear that? What's going on out there? Please let me try. <laughs> Maybe you guys should hurry up. And after being mauled by the creature, they discovered that the only way to stop them from becoming beasts themselves is to attack and kill the werewolf. This movie stars Christina Ricci, Joshua Jackson, and Jesse Eisenberg. So unfortunately, the studio got involved with this project and reportedly ruined Wes Craven's vision. However, I still argue that this is a great little flick. It definitely has issues, but it's still entertaining as hell. Just a perfect popcorn creature feature. Hopefully one day we will see the Craven cut, but until then, this is still a movie you can have fun with, so definitely check it out. Coming for you, Michael. So Halloween Kills is the most recent Halloween movie in this storied franchise. It begins precisely where the last movie left off, with Lori and her family continuing to fend off Michael. No, 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 no,
but this time with the help of the community of Haddonfield. So I definitely have some issues with this movie. I'm not a fan of the dialogue at all, and I thought the script has issues with lots of holes. However, I think it actually partners really well with 2018. The two of them just really go well together, and I felt like Halloween Kills was a lot more enjoyable watching it back to back with 2018. Also, the gore and the kills are fantastic in this movie. Seriously, some of the best in the entire franchise. My hat is off to Chris Nelson and the special effects team. They do a phenomenal job. They just kill it in this movie. So I think if you put aside expectations and just go into this movie looking for a silly slasher, you could definitely still enjoy it. The Ruins. So The Ruins is a skin crawling, uncomfortable horror movie from 2008. It's about a group of friends on holiday in Mexico who go on a hike to see an archeological dig in the jungle. So what do you guys think? Ancient Mayan temple off the beaten path. I wanna go. I'm in. But what they get is way more than they had bargained for when carnivorous vines try to ensnare them, forcing the group to just fight for their survival. This movie has some absolutely savage visuals. Just bloody, gory, disturbing body horror. This also has a great cast that give intense, believable performances. It looks great with really well done props and special effects. It really is an underrated movie that deserves much more attention. So if you've never seen it, I think this is one you should absolutely check out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know if there's anything else on HBO Max that I should check out. Also, if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell, because that is the best way to keep track of this channel. And when I post videos like this, and I post videos like this every single week, I also want to give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to my patrons, because you guys, yeah, you, your support seriously means so much to me. And if you would like to find out more about becoming a patron, the link is down in the description. And like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember guys, horror can be fun. I will see you guys next time.